So I'm opening this question right now. It's uh, who's your favorite president and why? You may know I like uh, U.S. history. I majored in history in college and am fascinated with the history of our church, but also of our country. To answer the question, I would have to say Thomas Jefferson. Um, he had a brilliant mind. He, of course, uh, wrote the Declaration of Independence. He was president for two terms from 1801 to 1809. He navigated the wonder of the Louisiana Purchase, which doubled the, the size of our country. And he was really a spokesman for freedom and human rights. Um, he was an agnostic at best, you know, perhaps a deist, certainly not a believer in organized religion. So that part of him is, is not what I admire, of course. But even so, he had a respect for the Catholic Church. So when he was ministered to France, um, representing the United States, he put his daughters in convent schools, boarding schools, because he knew that they would get a great education, but also human formation. He probably wouldn't have called it that, but that his daughters were formed as good human beings who embraced virtue. So he recognized that in the Catholic Church. As president, he was also helpful in getting the Ursuline nuns established in New Orleans, because he realized the the social utility uh, of the Catholic Church's outreach to the poor and the sick. So he had a respect for religion, he had a respect for the church, even though he himself was not a believer. Probably uh, there's no other house in America that most represents the mind of its designer and occupant as Monticello does to Thomas Jefferson. So we honor the fact that it's Thomas Jefferson's writings and vision that really articulate um, our values as Americans. Uh, the fact that we believe and know that all people are created equal, that they have a right to life, to liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Um, Jefferson gives us those words and articulates well the ideals that our country was founded upon. And, and for all those reasons, I admire him and appreciate his mind and his vision.